Okay, so this is David. And David, um, well, he sent me something that he made. And it came in this box that looks like... I wouldn't want to ride in that box. Anyway, so apparently this is a knife that I've known. I've seen the whole process. It's on here. Uh, specs. The blade is a three-piece composite, a San Mai. Um, Nero V jacket with a 52100 core, stainless over carbon. Um, the stainless is soft. Handle is stabilized maple, burl and ebony. Um, brute elements left on the blade for purely aesthetical reasons. Hand forged um, by the season 13, episode 13, Forged and Fire Champion, apparently. Um, what little that counts for. Make sure you use it on a soft board, which I have. Um, I left the blade considerably harder than most commercial blades, so it can't handle plates or anything like that, because it'll probably break itself. Don't cut yourself on camera, and then I sent that gif. So, this is a kitchen knife. And it's weird getting a message from a fan, and it's like, hey, show me your knives. And I'm like, uh, it's a sexual kink thing. And then I just wanted to see my kitchen knives and see if I had enough kitchen knives. And of course, no one could have enough kitchen knives. So it was a red herring, you don't have to show anyone anyway, the kitchen knives. And we had a fun little trip with the last six days. The USPS was like, eh, it's somewhere. He shipped it on the 6th, it's the 12th. And at the 10th, it was like, it's in transit to its destination, which is like USPS saying, we have no fucking idea where anything is. So I want to thank him wholeheartedly as a lot of the gifts I get well, some of them are very, very heartfelt, and they have titties on them. That's a titty gift. <clears throat> but this gift has been in the making for months. And it came and went, and it actually was a point where I almost forgot about it was being made. Oh, Jesus, it is sticking out. The, it, did it do that on purpose? Because it's sticking completely out of the bag. Go back in your hole. What a nice bag. Ace case. Manufacturing, LLC, St. Clair, Missouri. Uh, Pasta is going to want to know if there's a place I could link. Made in USA. Nice. That's probably why I got stabbed. This feels great. Um, there isn't. He has a Facebook. He has a couple places that maybe, um, by the time you're watching this, Pasta, just message me and tell me to message David and see if David wants to put a link in the description of this video. Because as of right now, he's like, nah, I don't care. Nah, this is just for fun. This is just to thank you for all. <laughs> It fell about a case. Here's a knife. Good, it's a good knife will just fucking fall out of the case. I didn't, I, I forgot how physics worked for a second, Jesus. So yeah, um, that is a, that is a, oh, it's, it's covered in grease, which is nice for the shipping. Uh, don't cut myself on camera. That is a handle. I watched them actually carve that out of like, that was blocks of wood. It's just fine. It's everything's fine. Don't um, don't cut that. Uh, whew. Yes, I, it's like a little baby scimitar, and I guess I'm gonna have to cut something with it. That burl wood could have been slightly heavier on the back end. Could have been slightly heavier on the back end. Actually, I don't think it's full tang. It needs to be full tang next time, David. God damn. No, this is a fucking piece. Look at this. What can I cut with this? Give me some old celery. Get out of my face, everything else. Holy fuck. Okay, no. Like, I know that was just celery and it wasn't like, oh my god, he cut through a leather boot. But holy fuck. Do I gotta get the piece of paper? Where's the paper so I could do the paper? Do I even own paper? Is this junk mail? Virtual healthcare information enclosed. Let's open up my envelope. Wait, wait for it. Whoa! That is a perfectly cut fucking envelope, I'll tell you that much. Oh, wow. No, that's dumb. Now, did you know, 
Did you know that the most dangerous knife is a dull one? So even if uh, David does not want anything linked, pasta, please link a knife sharpener in the description of this video, um, which you will not have any luck. My word, that that will kill you. Don't, I just, I'm glad it didn't hit me in the leg when it fell out of the thing. But a real knife gets used, so I'm okay if it fell out. Now, did it actually, like, this definitely fit in here, but yeah, David, um, it tried to leave. He said the last one uh, exited the box, and now I could see why. Because it ruined, it ruined the back. Yeah, I would recommend highly a piece of like hardened foam or something, just cap the top of that. So yeah, I gotta put this in my drawer. This goes in my drawer now, it's not going in that case. That case could be used for something else, unless I'm traveling with this. So I guess, that's, a, that's that knife. I guess this son of a bitch. which is now officially the sharpest knife in my possession, will fit honorably in my drawer. And I want to thank Dave for sending it out. Should we open up some other stuff? I know if I cut this video short, it's only like seven minutes, then it'll end up in a, in a to-do pile. I'm more just in this, this is so thick. It found the weakest point to the bag and just decided to leave. I'll have to tell him about that. Um, let's just do, I guess this, What what is this? I was not gonna open the boxes with that knife. This is what you have a replaceable throwaway shitty blades for. Because when these get dull, you make them safer by replacing the blade. We are about that time of the month. And by month, I mean every three months. Oh, sweet. A beautiful handcrafted knife with burl and, and ebony and then garbage bags. Which is good because I'm nearly out of garbage bags. What else? Oh my God. I'm deaf now. Look at it, it's got like a squeezy balls. They shouldn't do that. That's not what they should do. What is that? I've never seen them so resilient before. Can I get one really thin and make it like a high pitch pop? Yeah, that's gonna be a good one, that's gonna be a good one. Jesus, actually I like this box. I like boxes that are like vertical and not just horizontal. What are you? I don't think anyone needs to see me open garbage bags, but you. Ooh, so um, home ownership life hacks never coming because <laughs> there are no tips. You just have to experience it. Spectracize, bag -of bug Japanese beetle traps. Um, it's probably these and no, that's pretty different. Anyway, I have Japanese beetles and they fucking riddled. I'm going to take the camera outside. I'll show you. I didn't notice it till I was like looking out. I walked into my, like, my, my, my sunroom here. I've been watching TV. I'm watching TV and looked left. I'm like, huh, those leaves on that bush look sort of frail. And <laughs> I think it's going to rain. Anyway. Let's go down to the bottom. Here they are, alive and well, eating what looks like good leaves to make them look like these leaves. Like what the fuck, beetle bastards? You have to die. So I've been using this seven on them. Get off my bush. There were fucking 70 of them on here yesterday, so I've killed a bunch. I'm just like, Get off my bu get off of my bush and die. Ready to use. Kills over a hundred pests. Well, now that you've seen the absolutely horrific state of that bush, there's like 90%, 80% of the materials missing from the top. I hope it survives. I just didn't notice. I just didn't notice. I didn't have to know. I didn't know I had to notice that. <sighs> so, um, I'll hang these up. I actually ordered little things you put into the ground that actually hang things on it. Cause let's see what this actually looks like. I am confused. Oh, you build a thing. It lasts an entire season. So you do that then you do that. Then you do that and you do that. And it hangs there. It just collects them in a fucking bug trap. So you got to hang this from somewhere. So I'm going to wait for the things to arrive. 
But yeah, fuck you Japanese beetles and nature in general. I, I, didn't, I didn't know I needed to worry about that. I sent a picture to my neighbor, and my neighbor's like, those are Japanese beetles. So obviously, he's been worried about Japanese beetles for a while now. Meanwhile, I'm just like, doo 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 doo. I love house. House ownership is wonderful. Doodle doodle doo. Refrigerator's broken. Doodle doodle doo. -do -do -do. Power outages. Boo doodle doodle doo. Oh, my uh, fucking generator is installed improperly and you won't come to service it because it doesn't mark code. Doodle doodle doo. Doodle doodle doo. Hi. Apos finally sent me their cable. So Apos, apparently, is now making cables. So let's judge based on nothing. That's not even the shocker, but they put it there anyway. It says Apos. There's pictures of a turntable and a tube amp and a headphone stand and headphones and IEMs and boombox. A little bit too light on that markings. Like it looks like just dirt. Oh, they're out here too. Designed by Apos California, assembled in China. What is this one? I think they asked me specifically what type of cable I wanted. And I don't remember at all what the hell I said. Whoa, that is soft. I've got a couple little covers. These are like Best in the Verse soft. Which Best in the Verse was a guy who made them... No, was Best in the Verse stiff? Best in the Verse was stiff. The original Ursine cables were soft. And then the Heart Audio cables got stiff, and then they got a little bit softer. But this is like... Like, is there... Oh, more, Lord. Oh, Lord, that's a long one. So we've got a 4.4 Pentacon with a black connector. Not too fancy. A little rough on the knurling. But connector itself looks clean to a red cable that is very... It just feels like power cord. It just feels like power cord. So that leads to the split. It's nice. Little set screws there. It's got the two smaller leads out which I then drop to covered three and a half millimeters. So, Harmonic Dine Zeus, what? Where? You wanna go outside and play with the cable? Here, that's the cable, we'll play kitten, we'll play kitten times with cables. Come on, you old bag. You, you know you want to chase it. You know you want to chase it. You got a little hard time walking now. Boopers. You good? Good. Anyway, that is a hella long 4.4 Pentacon to 3.5 millimeter. Thank you, Apos, for sending that. I guess I'll just tear through the rest of these, literally. Get it? Because I'm tearing through it, Chewbacca. Do you get it? I need to make a steak now. Um, I believe with that carbon, because it's it's made of carbon steel, just like my carbon steel pan, which is this one, you gotta keep it nice and greasy. Mm. I know what you're thinking, Zeos, is that disgusting food grease from some other fucking meal? Yes, leave it there. It don't smell. And when I'm ready to use that in a day or so, I'll just rinse, heat it up, rinse it out, use it, and leave that grease. Impulse, the emotion. I've heard that before, haven't I? Haven't I? What you looking at? You one of those crazy cats doing crazy things? That's not even, that isn't, and none, though that isn't English either. Oh! Oh, this is not a post, I don't think. I don't think, maybe it is. This is the top of the, well, I don't know if it's top of the line, but this is a shewer, like the shewer tape. Do I have to actually peel tape on this? Oh, it's got a tear, like bread. Like a cake. Shewer, I, I made the discussion in my shewer tape review that, well, why haven't I heard of any other shewer? There's shewer tape, shewer tape pro, and nothing else. This is stuck, is what this is, Chewbacca. It's fucking stuck. Get out of there, bastard. 
I can tell you exactly the model number it is. As soon as it pulls out, and then I can complain about the model number it is, because as soon as it pulls out, you have to take note that this is the Shower, by the way, pasta, the way you spell Shure is S-H-U-O-E-R, obviously. And this is the EJ07 in-ear monitor, mass production version. Don't know why it says that, but it does. And we're looking at 107 decibels at one watt, blah, 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 blah. stainless steel, one, what, what are you? Oh, it's four Sonion electrostats, uh, two Sonion 8389s, and a 10 millimeter nano dynamic driver. So interesting at least, Boo Boo Shoovers. Interesting at least. You walking funny, baby girl. I'm gonna have to stop this unboxing and take you out for a walk in the sun or the rain, whatever one. You wanna see this? Mm hmm? You wanna scratch your face on it? Good girl. Impulse the emotion. Value of sure, impulse the emotion. Music sparks and, fl and flies between notes, melodies, and soul. Ba -ba 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 album mass production version. Jesus, that book. Chalky, you seen this book? Hope she's aight. She, she old lady. The moniker, overall sound. Oh, these are all the different ones. The vocals, the qualities. Oh, is that? Wait. That's these. So it says quality. Oh, it's saying what it is in the in the description. Overall sound profile, boo boo. Warranty card here. We've got, Jesus fuck. That is an aluminum case with a rubberized circular bottom. That is almost way too nice. Rubberized inside as well. Earwax brush, silica gel, do not, fuck, do not miss. Don't miss, don't eat that. No miss, no meat. Followed by the cable, which has a very strange rubberized feel to it. Undo, undo. Undo the cable. Come on, you bastard. Okay. She's my little wanderer from Black & Decker. She gets around, around, around. So you got a three and a half millimeter, clear, which lets you see the way they soldered it together, which is probably not a good thing. It doesn't look like it's like super well done, but nice, smooth rubber. Don't look that up on Amazon pasta, please. Splitter to single pieces, to right angle two pins. So that's fine. The, what, I wanna see what else we've got in here before I go. We got four foam tips. Four foam tips, Tuber. Got some massive silicones that don't even fit in these holes. How many of those? We got 12 of those. And then unless there's something underneath there, these are the units. Wow, they're small for what's in there. They have like a carbon, like a clear coated carbon chunk. Those are beautiful, but no one's ever gonna see it. No one's ever gonna see that. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else, boopers. They're not that heavy either, which is good for what we're talking about, like four, four electrostats, two balanced armatures, and a dynamic. You believe it? I don't believe it either. All right, we got one last thing, baby boopers, and then we're done. I promise it won't take long. Then we'll go outside and you can fight the beetles. The evil beetles. I worry about her. Every day. It's what it is to love someone, is to worry about them. Constantly. What are these? What is this, what is this packaging? Like, can I get this out of here? I kind of want to keep the packaging intact. All right, we're gonna fold this back. These are the Moondrop Variations, which, of course, contain one anime girl holding bread, losing what looks to be 
a clementine and she's got a soda can two loaves of bread and it might just be an onion or another loaf of bread i don't know Moondrop variations, blah, 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 blah. One dynamic, two balanced armature, two electrostatic, tribrid IEM. So we're just back to more IBM, more IEMs. This is a big ass box for fucking IEMs. But, and my waifu, can't go wrong. All right are the best ones I've ever heard, just because waifu. No, no jizz, although she looks like she's about to fall down. Uh, how do I, how do I extract this? Without ruining her this is like the size of a watch box it's like i went to goddamn rolex <sighs> what a pain in the ass because i really need three it needs you to hold it here and then lift it up on two sides it doesn't weigh enough to fall out like that put her there ah okay there's where it says moon drop that's an arrow up this opens like that. Then you get a card that is quality control tested. Get off my waifu. You've got books. That book. Oh my God, we have so much going on in here. So we've got a little postcard. You literally got a postcard with a space for a post, post stamp for Anime Girl, which is printed basically the exact same size and I can do that and put it on top of her you get a little winky girl moondrop moondrop has really leaned into the zeos thing right chewbacca let's feed her food food yeah never deny the cat food she's too old doc's like feed her whatever she wants i don't know if that's good or bad in, in doctor terms when the doc's like i ah, just fuck feed her whatever she wants oh god my wire went into it there you go boobers Making a long one today. Um, the fuck? There's other things in here, but I don't think any of them have any more waifus on them, so we're gonna pick a pause. Oh. I've done something like this before also, with just giant black, black and white text. We have got a case, another case filled with tips. Actually very nice. Like this would be the one I carry around on my person because it's not super thick. And they're individually stuck to plastic on the top and bottom. Oh, oh, that's a sex case for fucking tips. Did it really take me like five years to experience that? That's, that's, that's a keeper. Here is our like giant, giant. Like it'll hold a fucking original iPod in it. Oh, we have interchangeable heads. I love those. 4.4 Pentacon, 2.5 millimeter. Uh, has a 3.5 millimeter on it. Even though it's wrapped up, they still wrap it up again with a fucking fucker thing. Fucking thing. I need to really just start doing IMs like three a day. If I did three IM reviews a day, it'd take me 20 days to fucking get every IM that I haven't reviewed in this house done. Maybe not even every IM. So wire is not as nice as that wire. Uh, it just doesn't feel as good. It's got some odd, odd parts of the twist. This is jank af. They did protect this plastic. This with plastic though. So we got a nice shiny piece of metal that has a number on it. Uh, 0502060001024. Kill all human. Oh, I'm sorry, that wasn't an activation code. My bad. Uh, back to another two pin that are just well whooped over. Anything else in here? No. Very odd. Very giant and odd. Like, if you're going to give me giant and odd, give me aluminum. That is, that is severe. And then here are the actual IEMs, which... That one just fell out of there. Interesting feel. I don't think anything else is underneath this. Clear plastic on the front. Oh, I guess the front goes in your ear and the back is out. Yeah, the back is out. And it just has variations. So these are Moondrop variations. And there's your plug. And they're a very, very interesting shape. And I kind of like how these just sort of extend. You could see the tubes and they're just like done. And there's a little filter uh, glued over the front. So, 
similar feel too, similar weight. All right, this is what I gotta deal with. I'm gonna go deal with my cat too. Done with this, thanks again to Dave for the knife, which if I needed to kill a bear, that would be the knife I pulled out. I need a sheath for it. Like, I guess I would sheath it backwards so I could pull it out and slice forward. Because you pull it out like this, I guess it would also work. Super happy about this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Chewbacca, you wanna say thank you? Good girl. Thank you, I'll see you tomorrow.